Uh, the, the first question is, what sort of economic and workforce development programs would you uh, support or propose to bring jobs to the county? So, um, Joe, what, there are a lot of things that are already in process. Uh, I am the Montour County representative on the Central Pennsylvania Workforce Development Corporation. And working with them and the Columbia Montour Chamber of Commerce, uh, we're developing a number of programs, both from a standpoint of educating uh, individuals for the workforce, working with the local school districts uh, to make uh, their students aware of co-op opportunities and training uh, potential that is out there. Uh, economic development has been a focus of us in our four years. Uh, Drive has made significant progress in bringing natural gas to the northern part of the county, uh, de developing um, opportunities at the Mezzo property where we've had two of the facilities are already leased. Mm -hmm and under discussions with other, uh, other potential uh, employers who will be there. Uh, one of the first things we did as commissioners was convince GTI to uh, make an application to have a grow facility here in Danville. By the end of the year, that facility will have over 100 employees. And I think the, uh, the next area of opportunity is going to be uh, as we consolidate our clinic sites, our properties on Woodbine, uh, getting those back out and open to the market for development. We've had a number of folks who have already expressed interest. And finally, uh, we recently met with a couple of people who are interested in developing some of the blighted properties out at the 5480 interchange. So there's a lot of good things that are, are in the works, Joe, that uh, this current board of commissioners working with Jen Wakeman and drive uh, hope to continue to pursue uh, if the if the voters uh, decide to uh, uh, elect us to a second term. Okay, oh, that leads to my uh, second question: um, How can the county help eliminate blight? So clearly, Joe, there's a number of there's a number of opportunities of what we can do. Uh, we've worked with Washingtonville and uh, the, the borough leadership out there. Uh, we've identified you know, programs with the Danville borough. And so we're constantly looking at both the state and federal level uh, opportunities where we can help, uh, bring grant dollars to Montour County to help us combat some of the issues that we have across the county. Okay, well, what, what could do? Oh, excuse me. What can the commissioners do to retain more employees? In terms of the commissioners retain employees, you know, that's, that really is, that's employers need to retain employees. What we've got to do is create an environment where people want to work and, and want to invest and grow in Montour County. And I think a good example- well, as, as far as county employees. Okay, well, wait a minute. I, then I, I'm sorry, Joe, I didn't understand the question. So okay. can you re well, restate it? Okay, what well, can the commissioners do to retain more county employees? Joe, the county retainment, the retention is excellent. Uh, we've got very little turnover. The only two areas that we've got turnover are with prison guards and with, uh, we've had a couple of children and youth workers. Uh, in the case of the prison guards, uh, we can't compete with the state and federal uh, prisons and what they offer both in terms of salary and benefit packages. Uh, but um, with children and youth, that's the, that's the demand for those positions. And that's an issue where uh, there's programs mandated by state and federal that aren't funded. So that's a constant struggle that we have as county commissioners. And our first duty is to the taxpayers to make sure that we have an affordable uh, tax rate. And that's what we're trying to manage to the best of our ability. Okay. Well, what do you think the uh, commissioners could do better in Montreal County? What could, what could commissioners do better, Joe? Yeah, we're, we're uh, uh, there's some areas where okay. you think we could do better. So there's always room for opportunity. I think promoting job growth is important. Promoting recreation is important. In, uh, promoting uh, 
uh, good school districts. All of these go together to make Montour County one of the, the best places to live. And we're already doing a pretty good job as you look at the different ratings that are out there where Montour County is rated in the top 10 in quite a few areas. Danville School District is rated. And with what we're uh, enacting this month with the hotel tax, we're going to ensure that there's going to be dollars available to support outdoor recreation, uh, both with the Montour Preserve as well as with the trails. So I think those are all examples of what we've done and what we'll continue to do. Uh, as I stated earlier, uh, we have met with a developer uh, that is interested in doing something out with the blighted properties uh, in Valley Township. We'll continue to support that. Uh, we'll continue to uh, look at um, bringing new businesses uh, to the county lands that will vacate when we can, the county buildings that will vacate when we consolidate um, operations to the Danville Element, the old Danville Elementary School. And those are all kind of areas that we'll continue to work hard to make Montour County better. Okay. Uh, what of your uh, key issues do you see the county facing uh, heading into 2020? And, and what solutions do you have? Okay. 2020 is going to be a very busy year for Montour County. There are quite a few initiatives that are already underway. The consolidation of sites and the subsequent um, uh, sell, selling of the existing sites to bring uh, additional economic development to the county, the mandate to replace the voting uh, election machines for the 2020 presidential elections uh, will be another challenge. We, you know, the key to income at the county is the property tax. That's the only piece of income that the, the county commissioners have available to them. So what's important to us is promoting both commercial and residential growth. And we believe we've done that and we've put a strong foundation in place by the investments in recreation, the investments in our school district, the investments in drive to both enhance the workforce and to make Montour County a business-friendly place. That's how we're going to succeed in 2020 and beyond.